Hello everybody, I'm Christian from Paisley and I'm in London today to meet up with the legendary Ian Pace of Deep Purple. We are going to check out some of the latest releases from Paisley. Things he might have not seen or heard before. Let me introduce you to the Paisley Formula 602 Modern Essentials. We designed the series in collaboration with Vinny Kalayuda to bridge the gap between the classical Formula 602 and the signature traditionals. So we have a really exciting combination of definition, complexity and depth. Let's hit some of them with Ian. Ian, thank you very very much for coming out and spending your time with us here. My pleasure Christian. Um, yeah, I would like to introduce you to some of our recent releases and I'm sure you're familiar with the name Formula 602. Oh yeah. So. From the very, very first uh, connection I had with uh, Pisces, I had two of these glorious symbols. I mean, going back to about 1971, and uh, I never used them on stage. They were a little smaller than I would use, but the sound was acoustically delicious. Yeah. So the Formula 602 Modern Essentials are like a modern interpretation of the 602 sound. Um, yeah. A deeper pitch and a little bit more of complexity. Um, but I can imagine that these symbols would work very well for you in studio, for instance. Mm -hmm. But um, And we also have some of the typical Ian Pay sizes, like this 22 yeah, yeah, yeah. China. So feel free to, to check some of them out. Sure. So first one, 22 ride. Yeah. a little more depth yeah uh, when you get to the the bell it's really bright and very loud um, it's a dark sound very nice very very pleasing when you play it it has weight it has weight to it and then we have a 20 ride Again, dark undertone, uh, very immediate, the reaction from it. Uh, for me, again, the symbol's a little small. I, I would use something a little more yeah. gin ginormous. <laughs> but again, it matches this beautifully. <laughs> you can see that they're related to each other, that's for sure. Yeah. 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 We have crashes in 20 inch, 18 inch and 16 inch. That's beautiful. The 18 is absolutely beautiful. It's, uh, it's not better than the other ones. They're all lovely, but it has a, a pitch of frequency which is really pleasing. Incredibly bright, really nice. If you're going to make a statement where you're going to hit the crash symbol to dot a point, that would really cut through really, really nicely. 18, very nice as well. I don't understand small symbols. <laughs> but you probably understand small splashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As you are using an 8 inch. I am. That's great. That's really nice. It spits at you. Oh. <laughs> That's sweet. The eight. For me, the eight. Yeah. The eight uh, hits you in the face really, really sharply, and that's really a nice sound. So they're all fantastic so far. This I really like. The 18. And that are, uh, the other ones are just okay. <laughs> well, I'm curious to see what you think about the big yeah. China. That's really good. That's really good. That has uh, an incredibly fast response. 
and uh, again a lot of depth that matches the the ride symbol. Really good pang to it. And the reason we use these, the reason we use these is if we really want something to cut through, because this, this will blow a 100 watt Marshall stack out the room. It just cuts through everything. It's a frequency and there's a, a tonality to a China symbol, which just smashes through everything. And that one certainly would. Yeah. Yeah, there's a smaller one here. A smaller one, 18 inch. For a small symbol, that's really impressive because it still has volume still has depth too. Uh, usually when you start getting smaller chinas they, they tend to be sound like a, uh, a broken splash. I don't like yeah. them, but that's, that's very good. <laughs> Lovely secondary overtone there, if you listen carefully. The, the low, the low uh, harmonic underneath the, the top is very, very nice. And the hi-hats. Hi -hats. I had 14 inch highs when I was a child. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty nice. Now we're talking. 15 inch high. To me, this is the the perfect size hi-hat anyway. Um, having said that, occasionally in the studio I will use a 14 inch. Yeah. It has a, obviously there is a higher end to it, but everyday use and uh, ple pleasure of sound, the 15 is just so on. Good, incredible. And have you seen the incredible technique? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, these are very, very nice set of cymbals. Uh, each one of them has a different uh, uh, use. Uh, and as you see, my preferences are very personal. It doesn't mean to say the other ones aren't great cymbals, but uh, we, all, we all like different things. So I've told you what I like. There we go. But they're great. Really nice. Thank you.